forgive how tacky this is forgive me i broke my selfie stick a while ago though like that happened like a couple of weeks ago hello hello world my name is ashley collins aka the onto dragons filming my midlife crisis i don't know why i said that i knew i told myself don't say that because it's not funny because it's not funny that's not funny but um i've been avoiding recording i didn't record yesterday um and i've been recording and avoiding i've been avoiding recording because i wrote something yesterday and it was just really mean and nasty and i don't know i think something something really like <sighs> interesting slash beautiful slash strange happens when you like allow your emotions to well up but you don't take out that rage on other people you allow yourself to be creative you know because like we all get angry we all get pissed the fuck off we all get hurt and disappointed and then we say things that we really shouldn't say out loud and um I was really pissed yesterday and I drafted this mean long text message and I'm ready for like this huge fight right but I was like don't don't send that just write and I just want to read it out loud. Um, I want to make a video on how to not self-sabotage. And this is what I have so far. Because um, I feel like sometimes... I'm just going to read it. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to read it. Okay. Um, I have a hard time deciphering self-sabotage and avoiding red flags. Sometimes I think I'm seeking too much for red flags that I'm intentionally pushing people away. Because if you aren't close to me, then you have no way of hurting me. As a result, I'm alone, and I've taught myself that alone is good, alone is safe. I know we've all been hurt or, or betrayed by a person or persons who we foolishly learned, oh, who we foolishly loaned our trust to. So how do you protect your heart from being stomped on again? You don't, kinda. You trust your memory. Trust. Be a better judge of character. Believe people when they show you who they are the first time, and that's all I really got so far. Um... I don't know. I, I think I am still kind of self-sabotaging. Um, today at work, we have like this, like this server test we have to do. And I was like psyching myself out, thinking to myself, I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up. And then I kind of thought to myself, do I want to mess this up? Do I want this to go poorly and badly? You know, do I want an excuse to be like, okay, I don't, I don't have to work for the man anymore. I can finally work on my dreams. And that's not, that's not practical, you know? I didn't really think about that, but I said that out loud. That's weird. Okay, cool, cool. So I wrote something. It's really mean and really nasty. Um, and I'm just going to read it out loud. I, I have a couple of friends who I need to type this out to and send it to them because um, I just would like their thoughts on it. But um, cool, cool. No more talking. Just read. Um, you know what I hate? I hate when women try to say what a real man is or what a real man would or wouldn't do. The truth is we have no clue. Our fathers aren't a very good example. Half of us were raised without one, so our role model is an independent woman who doesn't need a man to lean on. Or her house was a rotating door and any potential suitor could be called dad. If you had a stepfather, he was that strange type that raised you as his own and played the role of a good father figure, but notice how I said he played the role. It was an act. I'm sure a sincere one. It wasn't fake, but it's still the greatest show on earth. Then we have the fortunate ones who are blessed to have their birth father in their lives. I want to say the portrait of a perfect, happy family is the greatest farce of them all. Is he really a man because he changed your diaper a couple thousand times or he threatens to beat up the first guy that breaks your heart? Which I, I always hate when I hear fathers say that. Because they should have been beat several times if, that, if that's the case. Is he a man because he's been faithful to his wife for 20 or 50 years or because he knows no one wants his crusty ass anyway? Unless he can pay for it. Ladies, we don't. Ladies, ladies don't know what a man is. We have our preference for how we want to be treated and what we desire in partnership. But in reality, these boys are just as complicated as we are. A real man wouldn't do this and a real man would do that. Just pick the most honest and sincere one who has the least chance of murdering you in your sleep. Wait. I'm sorry. Don't go. That was mean and nasty of me. Honestly, I haven't felt pretty in months and I know that's a sign of an insecure woman when she makes me when she needs male reassurance that she's attractive. I had a Bible that my church gave me when I went to college. I went looking for it in my belongings the other day, and I lost it. I don't know how someone loses a thick Bible, but I did. A verse came to me today, though. It's, 
And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no, no need of thee. Nor again, the head of the feet, I have no need of thee. There are many parts, but there is only one body. We're all one body, inside out. We're all one person playing different roles. I'm trying to make this date better, <laughs> but I ruined it by talking too much, by thinking too much, which is what I should have majored in. Thinking too much with a minor and drinking like a sailor. So no second date, huh? But you're still paying for this meal, right? I used to write monologues and scenes all the time. And I stopped when I started vlogging because it was just like, it was just too much. You know, like I was, I would vlog and edit my content and then write. And it was just like, it was just too much work, you know? So, you know what they say? Like, stop trying to eat the whole cow. Just like eat one piece of the cow. And um, now that I have no Wi-Fi, um, I'm, I'm writing more again. And I like it. It's very therapeutic in a way. Um, what else did I want to say? I have a very unhealthy relationship with money. I'm going to stop saying that I'm broke. I'm going to stop saying that I'm poor. And I'm, gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm in a financial transition anymore. I'm just going to say I have an unhealthy relationship with money. But anybody can get healthy again. Anybody can get back. Anyone can change their diet from eating chicken wings, which I, which I just ate. Anyone can change their diet from eating chicken wings to eating something, to eating a salad or eating fruit. So uh, I was looking at this one video yesterday saying how... Because, like, for me, like, I feel like this little knot in my chest, you know, like, when you're really, really sad. I, yeah, I guess that is how I feel. I get this, like, little knot in my chest when um when I'm paying for something, you know? Because I, I feel, I don't know, I just kind of feel like, oh, fuck, I'm never going to see that money again. So, instead of feeling that guilt or that kind of dread, um, the guy in the video, he said, say, arigato money. So say thank you money. Say thank you money for when you're receiving it and say thank you money for when you're giving it away. So yeah, I have it written on my um on my bathroom mirror, arigato money, and I have happy thank you more please, and I have how rare and beautiful it is to even exist on my mirror right now. So I'm trying to get back on track. I was listening to Chris D'Elia on the drive to work today, and um <laughs> he was like <sighs> People who say that they're uh, unplugging for a while from social media, don't trust them. <laughs> and I was like, well, fuck. Like, he's like, they're, they're probably really insecure. They got a lot of issues. I'm like, yeah, hit it on the head right there. <laughs> That's me. But um, I don't want to stay up permanently unplugged. I know that your thoughts are not your own. I know that your community creates your thoughts. So you, you think like the people who raised you. You think like the people who you, who you are around. And since I lived on my own, the people who I, who I thought like were the people of the internet, you know? And then I just realized one day that those aren't my thoughts. That's not my anger. That's not my rage. Even though I'm really pissed off that angry Andrew Yang dropped out the race. And I didn't need to be on social media to feel that. <laughs> That was my own thoughts. So, yeah, that's it. Um, this is nice. This is really nice. This is really good. This feels really healthy in a weird kind of way. Um, seek, seeking more peace right now. Um, I don't know if I pointed this out or not yet. This is an amethyst. And um, I got it for Christmas from one of my coworkers. And I wear it every day. I didn't wear it yesterday, but um, I wear it every day. If I, if I could shower it, I would. But I feel like I just feel a difference when I'm wearing it and when I'm not. Maybe it's just a placebo and I made it up like that. But this is a 10 minute video, too long. Sorry, I keep playing with my hair. I just really like my hair today. Look at me, I can't even fucking go anywhere by having a great hair day. Um, thanks for listening to me. Thanks so much. All right, I'm going to be a silly goose and play some video games. Not productive at all, but I, I'm starting to get back into the motion of at the end of the day, do I feel like I've accomplished something? And I do. I went to work and I killed it. <sighs> I kind of hate that I'm, I'm that I'm a really good server bartender, but you know what they say? They say that you can't be a millionaire with a with a poor mindset or, or with a poor work ethic, and and I killed it today. 
So that makes me feel like I can actually do anything. So killed it at work. I vlogged. I meditated and I cried. <laughs> you know me. I, I need a good cry every morning with my meditation. And um, wait for my wait, wait for my friend to get home, and just have a silly good time. Okay, cool, cool. It's nice to smile again. Okay. Oh, oh, also, 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 do you see this? Like, I feel like I have, like, getting bags under my eyes, you know? Like, I don't believe in plastic surgery, but if, like, if they could, like, if they could, just, like, tighten this or take that out, like, do you see it? I don't know, now you're seeing my acne. Let me back up a little bit. But, um, yeah. Ugh, ugh. Okay, don't look. Okay, bye.